hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can read holding register data of our Murbus tcp ip device and how to log that data into the csv file using the lab view okay so we were reading the holding register data of our Murbus tcp ip simulator device and we were logging that data into csv file so if you want to log more data i mean if you want to log more number of holding register data then we can change our program and we can do it okay and if you want to do multiple uh, device data logging if you have multiple mode device device as well then also we can do it now in this video instead of csv file data logging we are going to see how we can log our mode device tcp ip device holding register data into the sqlite database so in this video instead of csv file data logging we will see data logging in the sqlite database so here i have created a project in the lab view and here is my Morbus slave software which is acting as a Morbus tcp device okay we will go to setup we will click on the slave definition and here you can see i have selected holding register because we want to log the data of holding registers okay so that is why holding register slave id is one and i am pressing ok here now we can go to connection we will click on connect and here you can see the connection type is Morbus tcp ip so because of that i have used the ip address and the tcp port and you can also find the ip address here and the tcp port is here connection timeout is 10,000 millisecond and the unit id is one as you can see here unit id is one so my simulator is up and running now what i'll do i'll sim i will auto increment uh, or i'll simulate this uh, holding register so the value of this holding register will be incrementing automatically okay i don't have to change manually so i have you know simulate the four holding register first four holding register now we want to log the data of this first four holding register so for that we can use lab view so here you have to enter the modbus parameter and then after you have to select on which location you want to create your database so you can see i have selected the location okay it's my desktop location on my system so i want to create a test.db okay test.db sqlite database on my desktop and the table name so i want to create my table name is like modus data underscore one okay so you can change the table name from here and you know for you know verification purpose i have kept this indicator to check the values of the holding register on the screen and if we have any error okay if we have any error in the data logging then we will see those error here now we can start our lab view project and once i start the lab view project you will see the database is created here okay sqlite database so let me start the project okay so once i start the project you can see test.db is created successfully which i have specified here inside the test.db okay inside the test.db sql database we have this table morbis underscore data underscore one so if i double click and open it you can see i have this table morbis underscore data underscore one and i have five columns timestamp holding register zero value holding register one value holding register two value and holding register three value if i go to browse data and here you can see timestamp value of holding register zero holding register one two and three okay i can refresh and once i refresh whatever data logging has been done it can be displayed here okay now we will change the timestamp to you know local timestamp so here we can click on edit display format and here i have to search unique epoch to local time and that's fine okay you can see uh, it's uh, 527 indian time and here you can see 17 uh, 27 51 okay 17 28 01 okay so here you can see the local time of my uh, country and uh, at what time the data log has been done okay you can see that here so it will log your data at every five second i have configured in the back end that it should log the data at every five second i have configured uh, how to structure my database in the back end of this lab view programming how many columns i need what will be the type of every column okay and what will be the timestamp so everything i have done in the back end if you want to log more data then also you can do it if you want to log multiple device data then also you can do it okay you just have to change the back end programming and you can log multiple device data 
in the SQLite database using the LabVIEW software. You can also create this LabVIEW project into the EXE. So you don't have to install LabVIEW in each and every system. You can just copy paste the EXE in another system. You can just configure your holding register. You can configure your timeout, I mean interval time, and you can start logging the data into the SQLite database okay in no time so everything is configurable but i have kept some you know uh, settings as a constant but you can make everything configurable it's up to you so i hope this thing is clear and you can see the data is continuously logging at every five seconds you can see 26 minus 5 21 21 minus 5 16 20, 16 minus 5 11 okay so it will log your data at every five seconds okay you can change the interval by changing the internal programming of the lab view so that is possible so i hope this thing is clear that uh, with the help of lab view we can you know log the data into the sqlite database of any of the morbus tcp device holding register or input register i have configured to log the data for holding register only okay but you can also do it for input register as well or you can also do for both input register and holding register combination so all, everything is possible when it comes to the data logging with labview software okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you want to buy this project if you want to buy this labview project then buying link will be in the description of this video also you can visit our shopify store to buy this project also you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere to get more info about this project and to buy this project okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video instead of sqlite data logging we are going to log our data into the mysql database okay sqlite is for a testing purpose okay but in the production system we don't have sqlite in the production system we have either mysql database or mssql database or any other database so we will see mysql database logging Okay, for the same thing, uh, for the same holding register, we will log data instead of SQLite in the MySQL. Okay, so let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye.